Yo, 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 everybody. New gameplay. This time, I'm gonna try to have a good game for 80 train tank. Oh dear, which is pretty much the same premise. Oh sh shoot, we're getting invaded. Same premise, <coughs> different build, different setup, a little bit different values. You deal 80 instead of AP damage. That's one big thing. Um, you're gonna go Sundered Sky first item, which is gonna get reduced by your Ingenious Hunter. And you pretty much build the same items after that. You pretty much build your Thimble Winter, you build your um, Unending Despair, etc, etc. And it's gonna end up looking very similar, but you have slightly different values, of course, because you deal a little bit more burst damage, I would say, and you have an easier time applying your grasp procs just because you are in queue more often which gives you ranged and more attack speed we are in the cursed spread galudia skin right now which many of you guys know i'm not that big of a fan i like i like it in a way i just think it's a bit cheap for an ultimate skin if you know if you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I think it could be a legendary skin and with that price tag I would say it's a justifiable purchase, it's a justifiable um, value you get, but honestly it is an ultimate skin. Is it like equivalent to something like DJ Sona? I mean you should, if you're a Sona man, you should buy DJ Sona either way. There's like a lot of value um, in the, you know what I mean, department. But anyways, I think it's a little bit of a cheap skin. It's my opinion though. I know a lot of people like the skin. Might do a video on why I dislike it so much. Oh, well, I think it's actually a downgrade to what SGU offered you before that, but let me let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in a video essay about that once I get my editing program to work again. I'm not going to kite it towards that because Diana might be there. No zombie ward this time we have eyeball. Feel as if eyeball would be a little bit better than zombie. Zombie is just. I feel like since you need five stacks for that anyway, you might as well just go eyeball. You're gonna have five stacks by the time you stack your your item. I have 27 seconds before my crux spawn. About that. They're smelling something fishy. It's not optimal, I'm ghosting here. I need to get a piece though, please, bro. Thank you. The fact that she wanted to take that... I mean, I have literally <laughs> double stacking rune here. I have to like get something out of this time investment, that's why like, I'm a bit confused how they are mad about this. You okay little man, or what's going on what is, with the trolling? Little bro is upset. The unironic... <laughs> the un... like... He unironically thinks it's my fault that <laughs> Camille second Q the fucking kill there. Use jungle diff, guys. Because freaking jungle diff, bro. That's a fire dragon, I'm not gonna lie. I would love that Drake if possible. We're gonna get spotted here, but I don't really give a shit. I'm literally even gonna kite it out. If I smite this one, I should have enough time to get smite up for the third one. Oh, 
ADC players, man. Always so much hatred in their hearts. You know what? This guy is gonna push this. Right, he's gonna. No, he's holding this with his kick. Can't really invest too much into that. I wanna be there, but like now I'm already like completely out of position to help. That again, hit, hit, hit stuff so you get your gear items stacked. Take nothing, get everything type shit. This is risky frisky. If I get caught here then honestly my bad. Actually then we just might have been skedaddle. I don't know if if the enemy jungler is doing Drake right now. I don't know where the enemy mid laner is by the way. A little bit of weird game. I think I did a mistake path in both sides here, I'm not gonna lie. Not the easiest kills there. I don't have like great items right now. Kind of just uh, sitting on shitty components, I would say, but. With some help, we can definitely do something. It just takes us forever to take the jungle right now. I can coon there. Diana walks up. She doesn't. What the heck is going on? Why is the Camille just beating up the... Fight <laughs> there. What the heck is going on, guys? Pretty eventless game for us, though. But that's fine. That's realistic, too. Some games are just gonna be like this in the early game. And we do what we are supposed to do. If you have a winning team, don't make the game harder for your team. Make it easier. Just take as many objectives as you can go from there. I is gonna be here. Did he... Did he consume his... Mark there or something weird? Like, where the fuck did his mark go? Grubs are spawning. Camille is mid lane. Why doesn't have R? I would say we just ball here. I I would love for my support not to just leave this, but crab is leave and take. Interesting. I don't trust his old. I don't trust the old, bro. I just don't. I don't want to have the situation where I'm getting beat up for four seconds and then you start auto. Never put yourself into situations, guys, where like <laughs> you rely on your zero to a top lane rise. Let me just put it like that. I want to take them. I just don't want to die for them. You feel me? 
I would assume that Vi is probably gonna ward both sides here. And that we can take the Krubbies. W makes second, even though we are 80. My prophecy kind of came true. Don't really need help with this. I think he should just go top lane. It's a bit waste of mana, waste of resources here. Unfortunately, we are stomping pretty hard. Which would be fine if I did any other build. I'm trying to get a recording for this build, like, in at least three games now. Rise as well HP. We have six Krabbies. The entire top side is wiped clean. Mid lane is stomping like crazy. And we have one sec. I really hope that there's gonna be more action in this game. Because this build truly works. This build truly works, by the way. You just have to believe it, man. And I tell you guys, don't AFK farm in these elos, but right now I don't have a reason to like force something. So you have to like find your yin and yang when it comes to that. We have objectives, which is the most important thing, and we are stacking our tier, which is the second most important thing. But we can for fun it a little bit too. I mean, this is like Diamond Emerald Elo. Not that high Elo. Yeah, but they're instantly guarding stuff and grouping and stuff. It's a bit boring. We fight to protect our own. This is probably water, that's why I'm like instantly channeling my B. And also, they don't have engage, so they're just gonna poke here while my top side is spawning. I would say we are still big chilling here, though. I want the game to go south a little bit, almost. Just so I have a chance to show off the build. They're gonna die here. Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know if they saw Vi walking there. I'm not gonna ping it. I'm gonna sabotage my game a little bit. He's gonna TP. Oh, well. I don't know if I beat him right now. <laughs> Maybe if I get to play it like that, I do. He has definitely much better items here. We got our two stacks there, I would say, maybe we surrender the dragon, just for like, the sake of, of like actually having a game here. But yeah, Sundered Sky is much better than I thought it was initially, guys. Like, much, much better. As your core item, not only can you proc it multiple times to fight, not only is it only 3.1k gold instead of, I think, Trinity's like 3.3. But it also scales with your base HP, which Udia is probably the only stat where Udia is doing well then. The only base stat. Udi has a lot of base HP. Bring in stacks I don't have. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I clicked the next to Vi, and that's why I didn't get the, the stun on her there, but that must have been on me, unless it's a bug. Pretty sure I attack moves, but not exactly sure. It scales with your base HP, so the healing is just amazing on Odea. Missing HP, meaning the more HP you have, the more you heal. And your base HP AD, which is pretty pretty significant for a build like this. And then of course we get the healing pop from this. 
with Sundered Sky, which is like, it's just, <laughs> it's just a lot of healing, you know what I mean? I need stacks, I wanna fight now. Okay, we're gonna get an assist here. I'm just gonna go here. Why are we FF, guys? Come on. This game just turned fun. The cycle continues. Hey, no, I don't even know if I get it. They should move. I get it. Never mind. They might be on his field then. Why W max? Because shield bash and just healing. It's not supposed to be a damaging build in that sense. You're getting damage from being tanky. <clears throat> Alternatively, you can also go this item or a tank item, but I honestly just prefer straight up tank items with this build. Straight up tank items. Our thimble is pretty much stacked here. Almost. Got a ghost, this. Okay, we have to play this a bit smart. A little bit smart. A little bit smart. So essentially now this item is on like a... I want to say 4 second cooldown. Our film the winter is pretty low cooldown. Since we have Ingenious Santa, which I definitely slept on. In a game where you are up against a lot of AD damage, you can go for a gauntlet that is a tank item in theory, but I think it's a bit overkill. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad now that I think about it. You get a lot of HP, you're gonna have like a lot of, um, a lot of slow scaling from the HP you stack. Can't move, bro. And he can't move us. And he can't move us. God damn, can't move, bro. Might go the MP this game. But first we go unending. We are trolling a bit hard right now, I'm not gonna lie. Going a little bit hard in the trolling department right now. We're going unending despair right now. Very important purchase for this. Now she's spawning soon, TM. It's just rage splitting. Can't do now, we don't have like damage for it. Like, Ryze is uh, spamming mage, but we just don't have BTS. Like, I'm just technically a tank. You want to be part of these fights, essentially. Um, unfortunately, they always happen when I'm not there. Yeah. It's just that for nothing again. And we can't contest Nash. I 
thing is, like, if I walk up there now, it's like pointless, so I might as well just clear the wave. Ah, they're gonna do nothing. Since our Twitch is trolling, honestly, I'm just gonna take the wave, like, what's the point? Like, he's been trolling the entire game. Ever since I, like, ganked bot side. I think that is reasonable. I mean, he's literally gonna die for a chicken camp here. Unless he fought fights here. No. He's just gonna be a crybaby, that's okay. Doesn't have ult, but I could play this more aggressive if I had any sort of backing there, which I didn't have. They're just trying to bait a bad fight for me. Not worth dying there for nothing. I'm gonna get my unending despair here. Pretty good. This game is gonna be a little bit difficult because we have a troll, but. Damn, bro. You have very fucking strong mentor. And we are dying in mid, so now they get Nash. <laughs> I need to go home, bro. I have so much gold. I'm gonna eat too, even just to be a little bit faster. The zillion is hurting us so much this game. I have to go for more slow resistance. can't really make plays, they're permanently 5 and our team is siding, which is okay, but they're dying for like literally nothing. Okay, I need to pedal back a little bit. That hit me. <laughs> I'm so sad. Bit random again, I mean, 
I don't know what we can do with that. He probably still has all the time. Mm -mm -mm. Probably can't do anything on Ash right now either. I'm gonna go Spirit Versace after that. So you're just gonna go Dora the Explorer mode and die again. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Tread IRL. Why is he clearing a lot, bro? So all the stuff and he goes top. Who is sad? Because I'm super sad. We unironically have to contest this now. And I have to sit solo in bed. I am very, very unhappy that our Huawei went top lane. I'm not gonna lie. We got the objective, which is cool. But god damn. God damn. Red items are pretty weak right now, guys. I think we should buff them. Every time I struggle against any champion, it's a champion that does crit items. Or mage items. That's also possible, but usually it's crit items. Can't wait for Infinity Edge and Lord Dominic's regard buff. Red IRL, huge. Nah, this game is just like, look at these death tolls, man. We have 10, 15, 8, oh sorry, 14. These people are just dying left, right and center for nothing. She's gonna die again for nothing. We can't do anything with that play. Like, that's literally the best thing that can happen out of that. Still looking for a play, bro. Nah. We just don't win that. literally GP by the way and I'm solo on him this is literally the strongest champion and she's fighting by uh, I'm gonna go in there for sure if she walked with me there we would have killed Zillion uh, we would have killed Gangplank I mean like we have soul but it's literally like we play so bad right now that soul almost just doesn't even matter like, like, I mean, literally. Look at these death scores, man. Like, they're just dead for like 90% of the game. For very, very bad and unnecessary plays, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, probably not gonna contest it, are we? Probably just gonna give that and then walk up and die or something. Yeah. I need my DMP, I mean Twitch, uh, it's not even certain that Twitch is even gonna auto-attack this fight. Still need f uh, 50 gold, about 80, 70. A little bit short. Short on money right now because we're not contesting anything. Oh, she missed! <laughs> Mamma mia. Gonna record another game of this. This is just like too much unless we like actually do something. 
Which I don't think we will. They have like a gangplank was pretty much just like a late game for the last 30 minutes. We have poke. I'm gonna get my item here. We do have poke, to be honest. Whoa! Whoa! Rice got this. Yes, uh, not gonna do anything, but we're gonna get a bunch of XP here. So now we have 50% slow resistance, which is pretty good. Would be nice if Camille could take this. If it's up. Yeah, you could say I'm like playing for my KDA here. Not really. If I die, we probably would have lost this game already if I died three times. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody's dead for so long that like if I would be dead too then the game would probably just be over nobody's defending turrets for like I don't know 12 minutes straight this game so I kind of have to be alive so they can't end I really want to have a better example but right now it's just a tough game I have my dragons my uh Loud soul up right now. Pretty good. I don't like that we just randomly walk there and die though. We're gonna die for nothing here at this moment. Right? Yeah, we are popping off. I have the slow resistance. I mean, we are tanky, so that's nice. We will have to smite battle this with Diana. I fucked it up, by the way. Still a cool game, guys. This is probably not the main video I want to upload for this build, because it is a bit botched, and I didn't really get to show off how strong it actually is, but at least you can tell, okay, we are tanky here. And now we actually scaled. <laughs> we have, like, that's at least 200 HP from this run. Now we go Visage. Visage. By extra healing, extra shielding, extra everything. Extra anything we do with the spell. Fight this. This is so free. Still a pretty cool game. I mean, we hit 5.5k with this, 7.5k with the uh, Thin B. It was just a little bit of a scuffed game. They had really annoying champions for AD Udi too. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good, guys. I'm probably gonna record another video just like that. But. Hopefully, the game is going to be a little bit better than the early game. Still, GG to Twitch for actually playing the game, even though you are a little crybaby. 
I think I have to give it to this guy though. This guy was the only person who didn't just like mentally check out instantly. So damage was okay. We were around Twitch damage. Uh, mitigation was okay. We didn't do that much because we just didn't get to, to be really honest with you. We just didn't get to. Um, shout out to the way I always want to say Aphelius. If you like this video, give it a like. A subscribe would be much appreciated. Share it with your audio friends and see you guys on the next video. Bye.